Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. Today we're going to show you how to install a thrust bearing kit for a Maytag washer. It's an easy job that only requires a pair of needle nose pliers and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open the package, you'll get all the parts needed to replace your thrust bearing assembly. The reason why you'd be replacing the thrust bearing kit is if the washer will not agitate during use, if the drum won't drain, or if there's a loud noise during operation. So you can access the pulley system that's located underneath the washing machine. You'll need to tip back the washer, have a friend hold the machine, or tilt it back and rest it on something secure. Remove the drive belt by pulling out on the edge of the belt as you rotate the transmission pulley counterclockwise. Then, remove the old drive belt. The thrust bearing assembly is located on the drive shaft. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the metal E-clip from the drive shaft. Then, remove the metal thrust washer. Afterwards, remove the plastic cam assembly. Remove the transmission pulley. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the old bearing assembly along with any spacer washers. Wipe clean the drive shaft assembly. Here's the old thrust bearing kit next to the new one. If you already have the new parts, great. If not, you can get them at AppliancePartsPros.com. Install the new plastic collar over the ridge on the new metal roller bearing. Add some high temperature grease to the back side of the roller bearing. Then install the new bearing assembly on the drive shaft with the plastic collar facing out. On the new plastic cam, identify the front side with the cast in arrow. Apply some grease to the back side of the cam. Then install the cam into the new transmission pulley with the arrow side facing out. Make sure the arrow on the cam fits into the pulley so that it is positioned between the two ridges. Afterwards, install the pulley assembly on the drive shaft. The bearing kit comes with two different thickness thrush washers used to adjust the amount of transmission slip. We started with just the thin washer. Position the thrust washer atop the plastic cam. Then, install the new E-clip on the drive shaft. Note the locations of the minimum and maximum threshold markers. Rotate the transmission pulley counterclockwise until the drive shaft begins to move. If the arrow is between the two markers, then the thickness of the threshold washer is correct. If not, a different thickness thrush washer will be needed to adjust for the proper clearance. Once the adjustment is correct, install the new dust cap over the bearing assembly. Position the belt on the motor pulley and then on the pump pulley. Put the belt on the edge of the transmission pulley, then rotate the pulley clockwise, which will pull the drive belt into position. Once the drive belt is on, carefully lower down the washing machine. Afterwards, reconnect the power cord and then your appliance should be ready for use. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. And be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.